everyone today I just wanted to have a little bit of a play so I've put myself a little hoop and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna build a little scene with my blue fabric because I like blue in case you didn't know <laughs> and I'm gonna use some all different types I've got some little scraps out but I thought this would be great as my sort of base so I'm going to try and rip it, see what happens. Oh, yeah, it does rip. There we go. And I've got, I've got more. I've got a, I've got a whole box of all my blue stuff. So what we're going to, oh, with pink in it, we'll take that away. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer them on and stitch them down and see what we end up with. Just, just a bit of fun. Because we can. <laughs> and I'm going to stitch them as I go. So that I don't over plan. That's what I thought. Just because I fancied doing a little bit of stitching today. And I didn't know what to do. I'm just going to use big tacking stitches for now. Tack it all down. And then I'll do some little mini stitches and different stitches on top of it. So if you want to have a go, I'm, I'm hoping that you might have a hoop. I've picked these up really, really cheap. This one, I don't know where it came from. I think it came out of a kit that I never used. And I've just got the, the, the hoop left. So I'm going to leave that threaded and I'm going to find another bit. So that, that's way too, um, what's the word? Neat. <laughs> way too neat. So we're going to pull that apart. And we're going to snip it the other end and pull that way. Just to give it a bit more. Something different. There we go. So what I'm thinking is I might tuck that under there. Or that could dangle off the edge. Oh, that'd be nice. Because eventually I'll take it off the hoop, I think. I don't know. I might. So I'm going to tack that down. This might turn out to be a complete disaster. But, you know, we're just, we're just playing. And we're just having a bit of fun with it. It's upside down. I do apologise for my voice again. Apparently, the cough and the cold that I've had is now a chest infection. <laughs> so this is why I'm not getting any better. So um, I do have some antibiotics on the way. <laughs> I'm going to get them later. And um, yeah, so hence why I'm still croaky. I'm still croaky. Which is very annoying when you're trying to make videos. Being croaky is not good. So I'm not going to talk for very long. It's just going to be a very quick video. Just to give you a little idea of what you might do if you're, you know, not feeling quite up to it. And you just want to make something little. And just play in a little area. On a single project that isn't going to take you forever. Or can take you forever, depending on what you decide to put on it. So I might add. Thinking about adding that on. Or should we put that up there? No, I think I'll put it down here. Just grabbing bits and stitching them down. And then I'll add knots and stitches you know maybe some um french knots maybe some bullion knots but this might be like work in progress i might sit and do this one when i'm not doing clusters in front of the tv I do a lot of stitching in front of the tv me i can't sit and watch a film I have to be doing something with my hands. 
but we also don't want to talk like loads and loads because you know um it's it's not it's not a good it's not good um got this and i know this rips lovely this is just some netting um can i fold it will it wrinkle oh it might it might do that Make a little flower. Just play around with your fabrics. See what you can do. This is in danger of turning into an under the waters theme, isn't it? Again. See, I've got these bits left over. So I might just put these on. I might put them here, like that. <sighs> am I at that end? I am. I'm just going to tack them down for now. Just get me, get me going. And you're thinking, what is she doing? Well, just letting me imagination go, guys, which is, is good for you. Don't have a plan. I've got no plan, <laughs> as you can tell. Oh, look, there we go. Guess what's happened? <laughs> As per normal, it's come undone. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> I'm liking the way that's going up there. I'm just going to... Ow! Stitch that down. I'm getting tangled up underneath. Okay. Do a bit more because it's... It, there's, there's a few different little bits. I'm not worried about my stitches showing. At all. I might go over it. I might put some beads on it. I may just do some knots on it. Don't know yet. Alright, let's tie that one off. Because I think we've just about come to the end of that one. And I don't want it coming unthreaded again. I'm going to try Christine's idea and double it up next time so it doesn't come off my needle so far right where's the next bit i've got i've got another one i'm ready I'm, i already thread my needles so you don't need to sit and watch me thread needles okay so i do quite like this and I'm thinking, somewhere, maybe wrap it around. Oh no, I could use, I know what I've got for, I could wrap around. I think I've got some eyelash trim or something. Oh, found some net. No, it's the wrong blue. I don't, I'm not that keen on that. This. this came out of the box when I was looking, so I do quite like that, but I have already got some of that on. Could put it up there. I'll think about that, I don't know. I do want this on. Just can't decide where I want it. I think I'm gonna put it up here. Stop thinking. We need to just Stitch, not think. And I'm going to wrinkle it up. I'm going to make like a a few little what do you call them? Ruffles in it, like that. Just play. So, it's like doing a collage with fabric. That's what I'm calling it. You're just taking pieces and layering them up. And just playing. It doesn't have to be anything. It's just, just a bit of playtime. 
So if you ever feel like you don't know what you want to do, just you don't need a hoop. I just it, I'm just finding it a bit easier at the moment to use a hoop to stitch these things on. I will take it off the hoop. Um, you can hold it in your hands. I just find it really tough with my um with my fingers to hold it. That's all. So if you haven't got a hoop, don't worry. You can still do this. I think it's coming along. I'm going to cut some of that off. Right, now let's start doing some actual stitches. Oh, I'm just drinking my coffee. So I'm going to start here because I can see all my, all my stitches. And I'm going to do, I think I've got two strands on there of the embroidery thread. And I'm going to do some French knots on there. Pile them up, pile them up, and I'm just going to keep going till you can see them. <laughs> They're in there somewhere. They are just holding the fabric down at the moment, aren't they? We can't see them. Let's come out. Let's do somewhere you can actually see them, and I'll carry on doing those afterwards so french knots come up wrap a few times <laughs> for many times you want <laughs> you can tell i'm in that sort of mood today where i just want to i just want to play just have fun with my stitching because because i can and because i want you to as well so just Just stitching wherever you feel like sitting, whatever knots you want to do, whatever stitches you want to do. I will be doing some of my my little, whatever, I don't know what they're called again. Seaweed stitches, we're calling them. Because I did them on my Under the Sea project and I love them. I can't do them properly left-handed, but they are fun. So I'm going to do some more. Seaweed stitches. They look like seaweed. And I don't know why I've gone in a straight line of knots, but we're soon going to remedy that. Come on, don't get tangled up. We're going to plop them all together. And I'm going to do quite a few, so I'm not going to do them all with you. But I just wanted you to see that you can just stitch. There's no reason you have to be actually making a project. If you just want to put some fabric down and stitch bits on top, then just do it, guys. Just do it. There's no reason why not. Just enjoy it. I like doing French knots. I don't like them when they do that. <laughs> I don't like them when they catch. Come on, come off. It's because I've got so many dangly bits on there. That's all. Right, stay there. If they go loopy, it's not a problem. So I'm going to do a few more of these. Then I'm going to do something different somewhere else. I really want to try do bullion knots, but I'm going to have to try and remember how to do them. I've got a vague idea. Yeah, exciting video today, guys. <laughs> right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do some up here as well now. So you may see this later on, or I may just bring it back finished. I don't know yet. Be adding some bits. Doing 
doing some different colour knots. Who knows? I might add a bead. Oh, I've got beads out, actually. Oh, look. I've got these. I might add one of these. Just because they're there. I don't know, some little ones. They're all quite big. Trying to find some little ones. Oh, that's a silver one. That's too big. You think beads are little, and then you go to get them out, and they seem really big. Okay. I don't know about the silver. We might put the silver on later. Oh, they're escaping. Okay, let's put some beads on. Just because they're there. Little cluster of beads. I'll come up and go through it again, just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. If you're using the tiny seed beads, which I might, then just make sure that your needle goes through the bead before you start sticking. <laughs> I've done that before. Doesn't that... Oh, look at me. And make sure you're on the right side of the of your work as well before you put the bead on. <laughs> you can tell I'm not with it, can't you? I just wanted to make sure you had something to watch today. So I'm, only, I'm doing this Wednesday morning, so it's, it's very late for me. I'm usually quite organised. But not today. Not today I'm not organised. I've usually done this video on Sunday. Ready? I don't know why I didn't do it Sunday. Um, I think... I don't know. I have no idea. I have no... no I am just apologising because I have no idea why I'm not ready. We're just going to put a little cluster of beads there. And we're going to see what happens. Oh, it's gone through both. There we go. Oh. You can see. Oh, look what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Never mind, eh? <laughs> it's fine. We'll sort it out. Well. I don't think I can sort that out, but I'm not worried. It is what it is. That's, I think it's looking really sweet so far. So what else can we put on? I, I know, I'm just adding. I do like this. Maybe we should just have it in, a, in like a line along there. Oh, got pink. I don't think pink will go. You can come off. I'm just thinking maybe that would look right. Oh, I like that. Where's my... I've got some brown cotton. And I have double knotted, double threaded this, I think. So we're going to use this. We'll go back to stitching something else on. Honestly, you just do whatever you fancy. It's like... It's just a bit of fun. Just a bit. I have waffled, haven't I? I have completely waffled. I do apologise, guys, for waffling. But hopefully you've been stitching along and listening to me waffle. You're not too bored. I'm going to leave you in peace in a bit. How fun is this? Right. I'm just loving it. Using up all your little tiny bits and pieces of scraps.
then you can build it up as many layers as you like. Okay. Right. I think I'm going to leave it at that, guys, for now. We will be back. We will do some more. And we'll see where it goes. Who knows? Who knows what it's going to turn into? It could be a focal point on the front of a journal. It could be on a birthday card. It could be anything. We could put words on it. I do have, I did have this word, imagination. So I could even stitch that on top. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And so join me on Saturday. We've got a video coming up on long and short stitch. And if I do say so myself, I did quite well. So do come and join me and bring your stitches and just stitch along with me. I'll see you then. Bye, guys.